As someone who battles bipolar disorder, anxiety, and addiction every day, I know firsthand the importance of quality care in a welcoming environment. Now watch and see how astounding results are consistently being achieved by the highly professional and caring staff at Trinitas Regional Medical Center. My son has autism spectrum disorder and he suffers from also post-traumatic stress disorder. He has very aggressive behaviors. Uh, we tried to stabilize him in a stabilization program in Camden, which was really a bad choice on our part because we found our son hiding under the bed, full of bruises, starved. He was like 89 pounds. Trinitas cared for my son very compassionately. They did get him out of the restraints, they got him happy, they got his medications regulated, they put in a school program for me. I believe that every family has somebody in their family who is struggling with a mental health condition. Uh, sometimes it's a brain issue, um, other times it's a behavioral issue. New Point Campus is unique in that it has also primary care facilities, which uh, offers integrative care, which is quite state-of-the-art in terms of meeting the needs of psychiatric patients. We have over 200,000 patient visits every year at a facility that really has seen a lot of wear and tear. We need to get the word out there, but what we really, really need to do is improve the physical conditions of Trinitas. I think most of us don't realize the extent and the damage that the various mental illnesses can do to people, to families, to communities. Anything that you can do to help the mission of this facility and the people who are so devoted to it and so dedicated to it can be enormously helpful. We have a four million dollar campaign to renovate our mental health and behavioral health section, which as you know, needs it very badly. And as you know, also serves a very sensitive population. It's about the service that we provide and it's about helping the kids in the community improve and do be the best that we can be. I grew up in Trenton, New Jersey. Um, it was a rough patch. Uh, I did a lot of bad things, what brought me to New Point residential. As I started, I really didn't want to be in the program. I didn't like talking. I gave the staff a hard time, um, basically caused some trouble. Um, then I realized what I was doing wasn't helping me. Started putting in the work for treatment, started doing what I actually had to do. New Point gave me a lot of opportunities to see where I want to go in my career. So seeing myself in college, um, it's a great thing. I'm proud of myself. There are so many people suffering and they're suffering silently. For our family, um, our daughter uh, faced an eating disorder for many, many, many years. It was um, a long and windy road. I was a patient at the behavioral health program and I received wonderful care, professional, compassionate care, both as an outpatient and an inpatient. So uh, they diagnosed me as bipolar and gave me medicine and I got better, of course. I went from denial to acceptance and I went from hopelessness. I was, I had no hope. You get sick and you think that you're the only one and you're never gonna get better. But they gave me hope. Mental illness can be treated and the people can live good lives. You have the diagnosis and then you have the treatment and then you know you go on to live your life. People should support the renovations in the New Point campus because this place revolves around giving kids a second chance. From the moment us kids walk through that door, their goal is to get us out, whether it's home or to the next step down in order to improve our lives and really get us on the right track. I feel as though New Point staff have helped me become the young man I am today. The staff is excellent, they're, they're very caring, but the facility is in need too. They do need some renovations, and without these facilities, there's a lot of families like mine that would have nowhere to go. We are seeking donation for a very deserving, needy population. And if we don't support it, I, don't, I really don't know who else will do that. When I think about this, I get a little emotional, but I believe that 
potential donors can have great confidence in their investment in Trinitas and especially in the behavioral health program. So please be generous and give. Now let's all ensure that the environment for future successes begins with this much needed renovation. Please join me in supporting Trinitas's campaign. Their patients deserve an environment that says that they are important. Thank you very much.